Today is Food of Thought comes from the fourth chapter of Matthew's Gospel in the 16th verse, which reads, The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light, and upon those who sat in the region and shadow of death, light has dawned. For you to fully understand what Jesus is saying here in this verse, I want you to understand that during the time between the Old and the New Testaments, God, he went quote unquote silent for 400 years as the world plunged into darkness. You see, the darkness that I am speaking of here is not a reference to literal darkness where there was no light radiating from the sun. Don't think that way. Darkness, the darkness that I'm speaking of speaks to the world falling into sin as mankind lived in a manner of continuing to disobey and forsake what God desired from us mankind. You see, the Lord, he desired and he still desires today for mankind to be holy and righteous. But in our nature, we are everything but holy and righteous. We are sinners. Now, there were those that lived during that day that had a desire. They had a great desire for the Lord. So when Jesus, when he began his ministry in Galilee, Jesus, he proclaimed that those who sat in darkness, that is, sat in sin, they had seen a great light. That is him. He's the light of the world. Jesus, he proclaimed that those who sat in the region and shadow of death, that is, living close to approaching the second death, and Jesus said that light has dawned. There's an opportunity here. Jesus' birth was certainly a bringing of the light to the world. However, when Jesus' ministry began, the true light, began to be revealed to the world. That light, the light has done, reveals the truth to us mankind. What is that truth? That truth is that one does not have to live in sin to the second death, but can be saved through faith in Christ and delivered unto salvation. This is the light that I preach of. This is the light that I proclaim to you. Turn from the way of sin, have faith in the only begotten son, and therefore live. I hope my thought for today has given you something to think about, and I hope that it will encourage you, that it will uplift you, and that it will motivate you as well. Be sure that you share this thought with someone somewhere, and if you haven't already done so, make sure that you're following this channel so that you can always receive my next Food for Thought.